All right, and welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be building a skid plate for my hydraulic assist steering ram. Uh, in the last video, you guys saw I was playing around with cardboard a little bit. So I've got a rough idea what, I've, what I'm doing. I've already got a quarter inch sheet of uh, sheet steel uh, that I'm going to start by cutting that out and kind of test fitting it in there and just seeing how it's going to fit. And then I'll work on building some gussets and other things like that. But I need to get an idea of what it's going to be like. So I'm just going to get that cut out roughly what I think is going to look good and go from there. So I've got the plasma cutter fired up. That's just going to be the quickest way to cut this out. So I'm just going to set up a time lapse and get this cut out. All right, so as you saw, I got these two pieces cut out and made, or cleaned up and, you know, roughly made, whatever. But so now I'm gonna come down here and I'm just gonna tack them to the axle. Um, it's gonna come back off, so I'm just gonna do a couple of light tacks just to get the placement where it's gonna go and so I can figure out how I need to start making gussets to clear everything. So I'm just gonna get it tacked in place where I think it's gonna go and then fine tune it from there. Figure out exactly where it's gonna go, what kind of gussets I need, how many of them. Try to figure out what's gonna work best. So I'm gonna get that tacked into place. All right, so as you guys saw, I got it tacked up in place and then I made some cardboard templates, which are over here. Just cut out some cardboard and I traced it out on some more quarter inch plate. So I'm gonna get all those cut out and then uh, I'll show you guys how they fit in there and what my plan is exactly. So just get these cut out with the plasma cutter.
All right, and a lot of welding later, I think it's done. So let me show you what I got. I ended up adding this, this is just a half inch piece of solid stock. I welded across the front, because if I were to hit that right there, it would have just bent between the ribs. So I did that to strengthen up the front of this when I hit that on rocks. And then I threw just a couple corner gussets right down there. I just had these laying around, there's old mounts for stuff. So I just threw them in there, welded them in. Should be super strong. <laughs> if this bends, I'm gonna be super mad. <laughs> but I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's not any lower than the axle and it does ramp up, but it is kind of lower than I wanted it to be. But I don't think it'll be a huge deal. I think definitely hitting this is gonna be better than hitting my steering. So, and realistically, I only lost about an inch underneath my steering or two inches. My tie rod sits right here. So, and I have hit it on rocks. I know I'm gonna hit this. That's why I've been trying to build it so, so strong, but I really don't wanna bend another steering ram because that gets expensive. I don't know if I told you or not, but the PSC ram I had in here, even though it was way tucked up in here behind the tie rod, I still managed to hit it and I did bend it. So <laughs> I don't wanna do that again. So I built this ram guard. Yeah, so now I'm just gonna put all this stuff back together and make sure everything clears. I checked before I welded it all up, but I just gotta make sure everything clears, nothing's gonna hit, nothing's gonna do anything weird. Um, you know, cause I, I know this warped quite a bit when I welded it. Um, I don't think it'll warp enough to cause a problem, but I sh I'm gonna check before I have a problem. So we get it all back together and then I'm gonna cycle the steering, make sure it clears everywhere. And if I need to, I can grind some or uh, cut, some, cut some more room if I need to. But yeah, I'm gonna get this put back together. It's been a long day of, this took me quite a while to make. <laughs> when you don't have a CNC plasma cutter, you gotta do everything by hand and then grind it all smooth. Definitely takes a lot of time, but I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So I'm gonna stop talking and just put it back together. all put back together I did cycle it everything clears uh, I did clearance a little bit right here uh, just because it gets kind of close right there full lock to the driver's side but other than that seems good so yeah hopefully I won't bend another hydraulic ram uh, hopefully that'll protect it and there's a lot of hope going on here but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be strong enough and I think it's gonna protect it really well. So I'm trying to get this thing in best possible shape because we're gonna go do some really hard trails. So I'm trying to work out all the little bugs I've had with it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one.